morning, you guys. Merry Vlogmas, day whatever. Brody and I are eating breakfast together. I haven't had a yogurt bowl with like granola and berries in so long, so this just sounded really good this morning. Just finished our long walk, huh? You're sleepy and hungry. <laughs> now I thought I would show you guys just a quick little makeup look. Not even what I normally would do when I do makeup because I feel like I'll use like a liquid CC cream, but literally like the bare minimum, I'm just trying to do some mascara, concealer, bronzer, like that's pretty much it because I think we are just gonna go to Trader Joe's today. I'm going to make the drive. It's like really freaking far from here. It's probably like an hour, um, but that way I get to go to the home goods there too, which is always fun. So I think that's what we're gonna do today, just like fun errands, bring you guys along, and I just wanna feel a little bit put together, so. Yeah, here we go. I was like, oh, I'm just doing like a little bit of mascara and bronzer and then I feel like I got carried away and did a lot more. But I always just have so much fun doing my makeup. That still was so quick though, like blush, bronzer, highlight, little mascara. I wasn't going to do my eyebrows, but I always feel better when I do my eyebrows. Just a little bit, a little bit of pencil, a little bit of tinted brow gel. My Laneige Peach Laneige, so good. I love the way this one smells and just like feels on my lips. So yeah, now I'm going to show you guys a bunch of new clothes I just got from Nasty Gal. They just came in the mail. So the first thing is a set that I've already been wearing all day. So cute. I got this because it looks just like, I think it might be exactly the same one or very similar. This one that I have from Nasty Gal already, that's like a cream color. If you guys remember that, I think I showed that pretty recently, but I've been living in it. Oh, I wore it one day in Vlogmas, if you guys remember. I just always put that on, that's like my go-to. So I was like, okay, clearly I need another color since I wear it so much and I love it. This is the best, okay, you guys? If you take one thing from showing my new clothes, this is the best. It's so comfy, the material is so soft, stretchy, flowy. I just remember how flattering it looked on the model and yeah, so flattering, so chic, flowy. I was gonna run my errands in this, but I might dress it up a little more and switch out the pants. I'm gonna show you guys these new jeans I got. I'm obsessed with Nasty Gal jeans, we already know. They have like my favorite boyfriend style jeans, so I'm gonna show you the new ones I got. But I didn't already mention, obviously you guys can check out the links in my description to purchase all these items from Nasty Gal. But these jeans, you guys, can we just, they're so cute. These actually remind me of ones that I had from Nasty Gal before, but there's rips in a different spot and they're like a little bit lighter. And and let me tell you guys, I find that their boyfriend jeans run quite oversized. So I would say I'm typically a six in all the pants, but in the oversized jeans, I always get a four and they fit perfect because they still have, you know what I mean? Like they're still a little oversized, um, but I would just recommend sizing down in these. These are so cute. I think this is what I'm gonna wear today. Just bopping around because I just feel like a little more put together, you know, but still really cozy. Like these jeans, so cozy, it's so cute. I would really recommend. Also, you guys, I have to shout out the Nasty Gal new in section because I love looking through all their new stuff, like the new trends. And I feel like these boots, I've just seen pictures all over Instagram of like these type of boots and I thought they were so cute. So when I saw them on the new in section, I was like, okay, hey, gotta pick those up. So I just like love this look together. I think it's so casual and cute. And let me also tell you these boots, I've gotten boots from Nasty Gal before where I size up because if they have an eight and a nine, like normally I'm an eight and a half. So I have nines in some of their shoes, but I noticed they actually run pretty big. So I would recommend going down a half size if you guys are normally like a half size because these I got in an eight and they fit perfect so yes adorable you guys I'm screaming because I feel like I just leveled up this outfit with these boots I mean I really cannot do these boots since I'm like running errands I would be like so tired running around in like heel booties all day <laughs> like my feet would hurt probably but these are adorable nasty gal booties you guys don't sleep on them because they are so stinking cute look at these these especially if you want a little height like a little more fancy schmancy a little pizzazz I would really recommend these boots because I just love the style of them and I'm already so tall so these probably make me like 6'1 but I love it also 
this pea coat. I didn't have a gray pea coat, and I was like, this one is so adorable on their website. And also, I'll link my size down below, you guys, in case you are interested. But um, just gray pea coat buttons up and I have a cream one from Nasty Gal that I loved and I have like another black one but again I didn't have a gray so I felt like I needed a gray probably wouldn't wear it with this top because it's just like a lot of gray going on but like so cute you get the vibe right I love you guys this jumpsuit I have been so excited to show you if you guys remember a little while back I got this jumpsuit but in black and I think I was wearing the top part wrong like I didn't cross the straps or something and so yeah I just like <laughs> looked wrong but I kind of like the way I did it too like I think you can do the top different ways and it was so gorgeous I know you guys are obsessed and I saw they had it in this gorgeous champagne color so I was like hello yes this just like screams holidays to me nasty gal is the cutest stuff for the holidays obviously Obviously, like this jumpsuit it's just so silky and just like really nice and sort of like fancy looking um, but also obviously they have really cozy comfy outfits if you're just like lounging around on Christmas like the first outfit I showed you guys they also have a gift section if you are shopping for your friends and family that you guys should check out but I just love this so much and I think with like the ponytail it just looks really nice you can see the open back oh, like how gorgeous oh and then I got to show you the shoes that I'm wearing with I don't know if I would do black heels with this maybe I would do the black heels with the black jumpsuit and maybe like stick with nude ones for these but basically here they are they're like this really cute like woven style I feel like this style of shoe is so in right now like the little the shorter heels with the little woven part on the toe and that's the other thing about nasty gal is their stuff is so cute so trendy so good for the holidays events stuff like that but also really affordable and isn't gonna like break the bank so again i'll have everything linked down below oh, so cute wait you guys i almost forgot i can't believe i almost forgot this is obviously so unique and different than like anything i own and hear me out i know this isn't very holidays or like winter at all i would say this is very summer but are you guys like me i feel like i shop out of season all the time like i'll just find things that are so stunning and i'm like i can't pass this up like no i can't wear this in the snow right now but i'll save it for like next summer next spring do you guys know what i mean oh this like screams like may or june to me july i don't know um basically i just thought it was so gorgeous obviously it's like a denim jumpsuit i want to say i was inspired i feel like ever since i went to a glossier store in person you guys are gonna be like christian what are you talking about i went to a glossier store in person when they had a pop-up in boston or is it still there i don't even know i don't live there anymore but all the workers were wearing these like denim jumpsuits i think they're this pink color like a white color anyway ever since then i was like denim jumpsuits are so fabulous like i don't know i just think they're really chic and the stuff from nasty l just fits me so well again my size typically and everything like this is a six and i just know it just fits me so well so i was like i can't pass this up and wait to see if it's like still there next summer you know or if i could find one similar but then in the things that are oversized i just go down to a four so that is not too big and this is just like so oh, do you see it just like fits me like a glove i love rolling up the sleeves i just think it's so fun so you guys are probably gonna be like okay i can't wear that right now obviously if you live in like florida or california you probably could wear this right now and in case you do it's really adorable i'm letting you know so <laughs> Yeah, that's everything I got from Nasty Gal. And now I'm going to put back on those jeans and my little top. And we are going to make the trek to Home Goods Trader Joe's. We're going to have a day, you and I, back in my shopping outfit. And may I just say, yesterday it was like the best day ever since we had our first snow. And Max and I went out to dinner and celebrated. And it was just such a fun day. So I'm trying to keep the fun momentum going in today. And what I wanted to tell you guys about these jeans is I just remembered. I'm like, what are these reminding me of? My a gold oldie 90s jeans my black ones and they have a slit just like this in the top but they are like 10 times more expensive or whatever so i would really recommend these if you like the look of those type of a goldie jeans um because they look so similar in my opinion but obviously way less expensive and so cute. guys update we have no idea what to do about the peppermint mocha that Brody's tail, it was like right here. That was my fault. I had it on the edge of the coffee table. His tail hit it and it went everywhere. Max, peppermint mochas will never be the same. No. Like I'm not gonna be able to drink them anymore. I'm scarred. And we don't know what to do. We put stain spray. I like <laughs> soaked it up. We put stain funny. spray we all over it. I thought it really was gonna help. Maybe it did a tiny bit, but like we have no idea what to do. I also feel like jute rugs, 
I heard they're easy to get stains out of. Wrong. I don't think they are. Cause like I feel like if you scrub it, little stains. This is like a a big a big boy. Huge one. I feel like if you scrub it, it kind of like messes up the like braided texture almost. Yeah, we have no idea what to do. I think we're just gonna flip it over. Max said to flip it over. He said, "Tell them what you did in college." Uh, whenever we got a little stain on our couch, ew. Just take the the bottom piece and you flip it. And it's brand new. <laughs> I hate that so much. It's a brand new couch. That's so it's like basically two for one. No, yeah. that's like boys in college. But I also feel like if we flipped it, should we try? <laughs> I feel like if we flipped it, it soaked through. So I feel like it would still be on the other side. But if we got a new rug, I'm sure you would just spill another peppermint mocha, huh? Exactly. So I don't really know what to do. <laughs> okay, you guys, fail. Wait, where? Oh, there it is. Soaked through. So, <laughs> should we just leave the rug pad? It looks kind of cute. <laughs> Brody! Uh, well, he what didn't do we mean do? to. You can't control that duster. <laughs> that duster? Oh, Brody. We are here, people. I made it to a home scent. And I'm actually really dumb and didn't go to the one that I went to before. Like there's this one I went to before that has a home scent and a home goods, but I don't even like know where I am right now. I just put it into Waze and it brought me to this one which I haven't been to. So let's see how it is. I found this mirror, you guys, that I absolutely love. I've seen it before, but um, I already got a mirror from Ikea, if you guys remember in here is some of the artwork. I really like these girls. I just don't know if I would know where to put them. Maybe in the office, but I think they're really cute. I kind of wanted a big piece like this though, but just a little more neutral. So we will see. You guys, I'm screaming because I love this book so much. I think Arvin has it, and so I've always loved it ever since I've seen it. I also found this gorgeous little box. I think I'm gonna put it at my nightstand. I love the geode, of course, and I think I'll put my jewelry in there. Got some pine cones for my entryway. I thought they were like really festive and of course needed the geode. But now you guys, I'm feeling so conflicted. Okay, hear me out. This piece is literally huge. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually massive. It's like as tall as me, like as tall as me. And Arvin has talked about Sarah Brooke, like Sarah Brooke pieces forever. And it's from Sarah Brooke. So I really want it. But I don't like the dark at the bottom. Like, should I try to DIY? I'm not really DIY. Just like paint this part like white, maybe. I don't know. But I don't want to like mess with it and then not like it. You know what I mean? So like maybe no. But I just like like it. I wish this part was just all this color. You know? Then it would just have like a little contrast because I like it very neutral. But then I also found <sighs> going crazy. I really like this piece too. I just want a big neutral piece. So maybe this one. But I don't know. Like it's very blocked off i don't know i don't know you guys this is actually craziness the amount of groceries i got at trader joe's but do understand i know i've showed you guys before like a typical grocery shop in a week for like what we would eat um this is not that because i just went crazy at trader joe's i think because i was really hungry so i definitely bought more and because like i said it's like an hour away so this doesn't happen often so i went in and i'll give you guys a little haul i also side note can't believe how late it is i was just so indecisive at home goods so i'll show you guys that too didn't even end up getting any artwork because it didn't feel really right i didn't want to not love it i wanted to love it is a better way to say it so yeah brody drinking his water you can tell Brody's in a good mood when he drinks water every time I vlog. But I don't think you guys are even ready for Okay, I should address the obvious that again, I did not have my reusable mags, Max. I always leave them in my car and they weren't in my car. I think because last time, yeah, I can see them. They're right there. My big green reusable bags, I just never put them back in my car. So, fail, you know? I just fail with that like every time. I need to get like a lot. I should have got some at Trader Joe's. I feel like they have some good ones and I could leave them. Like I need to just have like 10 in my car all times. But anyways, and these are kind of fun though, honestly. These, don't they look like holiday oh, bags? The I honestly probably could reuse these because normally they have like the paper ones, you know? Okay, let's get started, people. Ready, Max? Mm -hmm. And you'll see like normally you would get like one butternut squash ravioli, but I got like three or four, something, you know what I mean? Because they don't live close. So that's just why there's like a lot because there's like high quantities of each thing. Two bags of spinach. 
<clears throat> I need your reaction. <gasps> Egg. Lovely. Two buffalo style chicken dip. Oh. Guys, this was like recently introduced to us. So dang good. Two vegetable stir fries. We love. I think I got three or four chicken sausages. The jalapeno kind is the best. Right, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. This was like so exciting when I saw these. I was like, ah! and I grabbed two. Max, I have wanted to find these for so long, and they've never been at the Trader Joe's. Whenever I try to find them, chocolate lava gnocchi. Whoa. Yeah. So this must be a dessert. But like, I don't know we, if I'm gonna like I never thought about how you would eat it, but like, I always thought of it as a dessert. But do I put it in a bowl like I put normal gnocchi and eat it with like a spoon as like a dessert? Oh, makes a spectacular dessert with or without whipped cream, iced cream, fruit sauce. Gild these chocolate pillows with even more sauce. <laughs> wow. So obviously needed two of those. Have you guys had those before? Because they were recommended to me. Do you guys know my favorite dessert ever is chocolate lava cake? But I can never find them. Also, Max, this is like a big find, spicy cashew butter dressing Yum. because my favorite dressing ever is from Sweet Green and it's their spicy cashew dressing and I've never found it anywhere. Like I remember Googling online like how, how do I find a spicy cashew dressing? I know you can make one, but let's be honest, if I made one, it probably wouldn't even taste good. So I can't wait to try this. I might need to like eat this with just some lettuce right now so I can try it. I got definitely three or four, I don't even know where all these are, but a bunch of these jasmine, frozen jasmine rices. Frozen, 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 frozen jasmine. <laughs> Whatever, you can read it. A bunch of these, cause these are our favorite and they take like three minutes to cook and they taste so good. And let's be honest, when I use my rice cooker within like, I'm a grown up, you know, it takes like 30 minutes and I gotta clean the thing. And half the time I mess it up and I burn it or don't cook it right. You can't go wrong with those ones. So, got some salmon. I always love having frozen salmon. I feel like Max doesn't even like the frozen salmon. And like, I don't know. I feel like my friends have like made fun of me. They're like, ew, frozen salmon is like not as good as fresh. Honestly, I don't taste the difference and then it stays good for basically ever. And I don't have to go get like a fresh salmon and eat it like that week. You know what I mean? It's just easier that it's frozen. Frozen mango, love putting that in my smoothie. Frozen pineapple, love putting that in my smoothie. Oh, I've never tried these before, Max. But everyone loves, Taylor loves these. The cauliflower pizza crust. And then what, do you just make your own pizza on top of it, I would assume? Yeah, you can do like veggies, bread sauce, whatever. So that seemed fun. And Max loves the barbecue chicken pizza. I do too, it's so good. Um, but they were out. So I got a margarita pizza. For when you want dinner or lunch, but you don't feel like doing anything. More chicken sausage. Like I've never spent this much at Trader Joe's in my whole life, but it was so worth it. Okay, yes, at least three of these bad boys. The butternut squash, ravioli, Trader Joe's, so good. But honestly, oh my gosh, you can see it piling up behind me. The sweet potato gnocchi, I think is even better than the butternut squash ravioli. The sweet potato gnocchi, they were fully stocked max. I was gonna grab like 10. I was like, mm. my whole freezer needs to be full of that. Got some carrots, because we love carrots. Oh, I also grabbed two of the cauliflower gnocchis because everybody loves these. And I feel like whenever I made them, I would kind of mess it up and like burn them and not do it right. But Taylor loves those. So yeah, chicken pot stickers, easy to make, tasty, love those. Oh, this I've never tried, Max. It was a gnocchi with like red sauce. I don't know, I just like really went ham on the frozen stuff because it's frozen, so like who cares? It'll, like, it's not like it's gonna go bad, you know? Like, we'll eat it is what I mean. Favorite hash browns, you guys. If you see these hash browns, get them. They're really good. Clearly, you can see what a fan, what a fan I am of Trader Joe's and, like, how, like, I, it, I'm, i like, it's like a withdrawal since it's not close by. You guys, look at this bag. It's, like, 10 sweet potato gnocchis because these are, like, legitimately my favorite food. I could eat one bag for each meal. One, two. 
three, four, five. Oh my god, babe. But I literally, that'll last me a week. I'll eat one every day, you know? Like, oh, I love these tortillas. Holy little tortillas. Oh, bunch of avocados, all rock hard. They're always rocks at Trader Joe's stores, I swear. Um, but yeah, we haven't been able to find like avocados, so yes. Hummus. Oh, maybe they're like, they out of season? I don't oh, know. Probably. It's probably hard to grow. Hummus. They did I they didn't have the one that we normally get, the one in like the clear and green package. So I just got that. Green goddess dip. I don't know, I thought it was fun. Okay. And I love the green goddess dressing, so thought I'd switch it up, try the dip with my veggies. I don't know. <laughs> Are we shocked? A million more rices? Because you could actually eat that. We eat it with like every meal. When in doubt, we're like, oh, we'll just like add some rice to this. More chicken sauce. <laughs> okay, how many of those did I? Like I literally, when I'm in there, I kind of black out and I'm just like, my cart was overflowing. Um, More pineapple? Wow. How many pineapples did I get? I gotta get that stuff in the freezer. It feels like it's melting. Okay, we're kicking this into high pace, everyone. Jojo's. Jojo's? I don't know. I don't know. Like Oreos, except not. Okay. <laughs> but I heard they're really good and I haven't tried them, so I wanted to. I should have got like three boxes of these. They're like halfway gone. I yeah. ate these on my way home. Um, mini peanut butter sandwich crackers. So dang good. Rigatoni's. Our favorite, this is like disgusting. You can see it piling up behind me. Um, animal crackers, because I like them. And we heard that they make good dog treats because they're very like minimal ingredients and just like simple for them. So yeah, no one come for me, but I don't know, could be fun. Dog treats get really expensive. Actually, I don't even know how much those are. Whatever, you know, like we'll eat them. Maybe Brody will have some. I got some olive oil spray, coconut oil spray for cooking. Oh, I'm exhausted. Sweet potatoes, bam. Three everything but the bagel seasoning. Yeah. Cause we love that on our eggs and avocado toast and stuff and it goes back with, oh, four everything but the bagels. Um, chickpeas. Love roasting those, adding them to my salad. Strawberry jelly, because that's my favorite kind, and I just used up the rest of mine the other day. Butternut squash soup. Yum. To have on hand. I had a different kind from them before, but yeah. Max requested pistachios, because he loves those. Did you eat all the other ones already? Yeah, I was looking for them tonight. Oh, and they're gone. <laughs> um, dark chocolate covered peppermint JoJo's. Hannah told me to get these. She said get the peppermint JoJo's. So we have both kinds of JoJo's. I don't know. Oh, these, these I also got because I was just hungry. Dark chocolate covered mini pretzels. Normally I would get the chocolate covered. Sounds good. I know. You know the chocolate covered like pretzel crisps or thins? I feel like normally oh, yeah. I would get those, but I just saw those today. Um, oh, I want to eat these like right now. Pomegranate seeds. So yummy. Max, do you like pomegranate seeds? I've never had them with you or seen you eat them or anything. Mm, sure. They're really good. I remember that. I don't know why in my head they make me think of Kylie Jenner because I feel like whenever I would watch videos of her, she like always eats them like she loves them. Tomato basil, marinara. I might have got two of those, I feel like. Oh, babe, strawberry licorice. More of those tortillas I like. More butternut squash soup. Oh, little um, mandarins, like mandarin oranges. Or no, wait, this isn't mandarin oranges. That's what those little cups of oranges are. Are these the same thing as clementines? I don't really know. Little orange clementine tangerine type things. Um, Thai style yellow curry sauce. TBD on if we will use this. Max is gonna be like, what even is it? Have you ever had yellow curry before, Max? It's really good at Thai places, so I thought I would get this sauce. Maybe, you know, eat it with the rice, or everything's good with the rice. Oh man, we have another bag. I'm like, oh, this will take five minutes. Oh, Max, this was a find of the century. Saw that, poking out. So interesting, I've never seen, <laughs> this is a olive wood cutting serving board. There's like stacks of them, and they're all like raw, like edges, and sort of like unique 
shape and I feel like I always look in the wood board section of home goods and I really like the organic shape looking ones um but I always want them to look like this and I feel like I never found one that looks just like this so when I saw them I was like wait that's literally what I want in here to like lean up against our backsplash or something that'll be so cute so I love this and really random that I found that at Trader Joe's bunch of bananas hope they're not squished by all the other groceries everything bagels our favorite parmesan cheese asian style spicy peanut vinaigrette sounded good i feel like i've had that before more bananas almost done more marinara the tomato basil is so good this just reminds me of lucy in college she would always have this sauce and it's really good more soyaki are we running out of this oh yeah Completely out. Oh, we're out? Okay, good. Because I feel like we always end up accumulating a bunch of these, or at least me and Taylor would. We'd have like six in our fridge. Do you remember that? We would have like so, because we'd always go and think we were out and get more. But yeah, I guess we're out. So we use this a lot. Teriyaki sauce, so good. And then last but not least, whoo, some Scandinavian swimmers, so good. And now I'm going to put it all away. All right, you guys, now for the stuff I got from home goods since we got all the food put away. Ate a little bit of my leftovers from last night. First up, you guys saw, Max didn't see. Pine cones. Look what I found. Didn't you literally say the other day, where are you gonna find pine cones? Was no, like, you said that. Oh, cause someone said in my front little decorative bowl it would look really festive with pine cones and I was like, that's a great idea. Maybe I did say that. Where would I find pine cones? Mm -hmm. I guess home goods. And these ones just look really fun and festive. There's like gold and like glitter and stuff. So we're gonna see how that looks. Then I got Max, you wanna know why I got this? I think it's a dishwashing brush. I, I just say, is that a shower? No, it's like a dishwashing like brush, but I got it because I want to try to use it on the rug with the stain because I feel like I need like a scrubby brush to like yeah. scrub out the stain. I'm going to try to do that. Oh, did I say this on the vlog? I don't know. Or did I, was I just messaging people back that told everyone's like, you need to use Folex. And that is literally what I used people. Is it still over there, Max? Where's the Folex? I'm scared I literally manifested Brody's tail knocking over the peppermint mocha because I bought this Folex stain remover the other day, swiping up on Arvin's story, like I buy everything. And I didn't even need it yet, but I was just like, this will come in handy. We don't really have like a carpet stain remover. The one that we first had when Brody was a puppy, I think I like left at my mom's house. So I was like, anyway, I'll just get this to like have on hand. And then of course there's like the biggest stain in the world that I need it for. Um, but it didn't really do anything. And it says it takes out coffee. And everyone said this was like the best thing for your rugs and it'll come right out, oh, but it didn't. And I'm thinking maybe it's because of jute rug. I was DMing with Arvin and he said that his jute rug is already in the trash because it got ruined from his dogs. So I'm like, all right, <laughs> this stinks. But you know what, Max? The other day, Arvin used Folex from a, I don't even know what to say because it's gross, but like a pet accident stain that was pretty gnarly on his rug and it came out like completely but then he also got one of those like carpet stain remover things to like make it even better after but anyway so I mean this works already getting like ruined it wasn't that expensive it was like moderately expensive I don't know so I don't know but I feel like any rug I got would like get ruined anyway enough about the rug who cares are you ready for my big sign Max? Yeah, yo this no 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 this is like i think just the best find i like walked by it twice and then i was like oh, how did i not see it? it was on the bottom shelf like by itself are you ready are you looking wow a no. big chanel book oh, and arvin has this one so obviously it's iconic i definitely i just know i've seen it in on his instagram like styled on his coffee table and it says, the woman who reads Culture Chanel. I just love the little tiny Chanel sign down there. I saw it and I was like, oh, how did I almost pass over you? And you need to feel it, Max. It feels like that soft, like, leather mm. feel. I don't know. It feel, literally feels like real leather. I just love it. And then this was still freaking expensive at Home Goods, So, can't imagine how much it is when you buy it full price somewhere. So, she is gorgeous. Love how neutral she is, of course. Oh my gosh, this like fell apart in there. I'm surprised it didn't break. Max, 
I saw this little decorative thing. I'm not like I'm very picky and choosy. I feel like about the things I get right now. Like I feel like marble I'm very picky about, but it has a little geode on top and I figured this would be so nice. I've been thinking how I want like a little tray or a dish or a container, something like this to go on my nightstand for my jewelry or even like the dresser for my jewelry. Like if I'm taking off my earrings or whatever. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I think all we have left is geodes, people. I hit the geode. I feel like I'm saying it wrong now because Max always called it a genode. Genode. Why do you call it a genode? But they're called. No, it's a geode. Oh, but now a geode sounds wrong in my head because he says genode so much. That's like from Napoleon Dynamite. Our family always called them quesadillas. So now if I say quesadilla, that almost like sounds wrong. <laughs> anyway, this beautiful geode. Hello, gorgeous. I found so many like pretty just earthy tone neutral ones and then in this bag okay you guys this one I'm trying to rip off the little tag so you can see her in her full glory I just loved how open it is because a lot of times they can be quite like closed looking so you can barely see mm -hmm. the inside like this one but uh, so yeah this one's just like big more like black I don't know they're all different shapes and sizes obviously they're each so unique so I really like that this one is smaller, I feel like. Normally I like the bigger ones, but look at how clear it is on the inside. That's it looks like so clear. I really like that one. I'm such a nerd. And then this one looks like other ones I have already. Like I feel like there's some more like tan, darker spots in there, but it's like pretty big. And it looks like an earthy like rock on this side. I mean, they all do. Look at this one, it has like green and stuff. Oh, <laughs> it's dirt falling out of them. Literally got four geodes and I probably already have I'd call that the geodes four I know and I probably already have like four white geodes this is honestly crazy if any of you like hunt white geodes like a treasure like I do in home goods this is just crazy that I found four because a lot of times I can't even find one um but <laughs> You always have to get ice cubes or like do something really loud. Oh, you're filling up my water bottle. Thank you. That's loud. Basically, I have the geo jackpot, and you're probably like, Gretchen, why do you need like, I probably have eight white geodes in total? Because, you know what? I think I want to do it in that front bowl that I'm going to put all the pine cones in, but I want to fill a bowl with geodes to have like a geode bowl because I just think it looks so cool. Um, so maybe I'll do the pine cones right now for like Christmas time. And then when we're done with that, we'll like fill the bowl with geodes. It's gonna look so cool. I can't wait to like arrange them all and it'll just be like a pile of geodes, you know? So that is all I got at Home Goods. Oh, maybe this will go on our coffee table. Maybe this will go on our entry table. I don't even know. I just think it's so beautiful and I can't wait to look through it. I'm not one of those people that just like thinks the outside is cool and aesthetic. Like I actually love looking through them. Like I love this page, I just flipped too. It's like a handwritten note. I love that. This is so fun. Some artwork, a bunch of handwritten. Oh, you know what, that would make sense that it's a lot of handwriting since it's called The Woman Who Reads. So that's all I got at home, guys. I'm gonna go set up my little jewelry box. Maybe I'll call it that. I actually don't have a jewelry box. This would be good for me. My jewelry is in like a big jewelry bag, like in my nightstand or something. I needed like a place for it. You guys, I'm screaming because look at this bowl. I just threw in three quick to see like how it could look and I already love it and obviously I have way more. I could like fill it up more, but I already like the way they're like arranged. I just think it's so pretty. Like isn't that so fun and different? Obviously fully inspired by Arvin giving him all the credit because I watched one of his like console styling videos and he showed a bowl of geodes and ever since I saw that I became literally obsessed. So yeah. Like so fun together, right? You guys, to whoever told me to put pine cones in this front bowl, thank you, they look so good. Obviously, the rest of it could be doing better in the whole Christmas festive department. We have that sad, tiny little tree, but also whatever, like I know I'm not gonna be here for actual Christmas anyway, but this is just so pretty for the time being. I like don't even wanna switch it to the geodes now because I just love the way I arrange them. Are you attached to your mama's hip? You miss me. 
been following me around. Also, you guys, we took down his bells. I don't know if I said this recently, but look at what they did to the door. They were like scratching up the whole wall. So, yeah. Now he'll just come here and whine. And then that's how we know he has to go out. Huh? I missed you, sweet pea. Update. I just tried scrubbing with my little scrubber and the Folex. Like, am I doing something wrong? I don't know, but it's just really horrible. And a part of me thinks, because the jute rug is like braided, like, how is something gonna get out of there? Like, it's basically sunk in at this point. I don't really know. And then the other part of me is like, well, the any rug could be ruined with having a little puppy. Um, then maybe I should just pull the coffee table over it and hope people don't know. <laughs> Like, I don't know. And it's soaked through to the other side. I'm like, we could still probably flip it. And the other side might be easy to, easier to get it out of. Because there's, like, less on the other side, obviously. Because it got spilled on this side. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> it's the next morning. So, ending this off here. Do you want to join us, sweetie? <laughs> okay. So, GLB spills the tea, you guys. Oh, I'm so sleepy today. I think just from all of my shopping yesterday i was like exhausted like i don't get out much anymore so when i do it's like a big deal you are so sweet look he's like laying on my neck <laughs> attached at my hip you guys i can't make this up so glb spills the tea one of you asked what is my favorite like christmas holiday activity i was like what is the word called like activity like skiing ice skating watching like a Christmas light show, something like that. Honestly, you know, I was gonna say skiing, but definitely not skiing anymore. I think it used to be skiing. I was like obsessed with skiing because Lucy and I would only go like maybe a couple times each year. We would normally only go with our cousins because like our parents didn't really ski anymore. Um, oh, that might be something. <laughs> I digress. I don't know if you guys know or like would care, but my mom used to be like a competitive ski racer back in the day. But then she had a lot of problems like with her knees. I think skiing just really started to hurt her knees, so she doesn't ski anymore. Um, but I remember when we were younger skiing with my dad. And since you guys know I tore my ACL, what year was it? Um, February of 2019, last year, I don't ever really want to ski again, <laughs> to be honest. And everyone's like, come on, you gotta like get back out on the slopes. And I'm like, no, like I'm really, I'm really good. Like I could tube, you know, I could maybe like go on the bunny hill or something, but yeah, not that anymore. Honestly, thinking about it, I really love ice skating now. With Max, it's so much fun. I mean, I think the funnest part of it, or the reason why it's so fun for me, is because Max is clearly <laughs> such a, a good skater, so good at skating. And so, if we ever get to ice skate together, I mean, I'm sure now, like this year, it's not like we're gonna be able to. It's not like rinks are open for like public skating around, but in the past, pre-pandemic, uh, whenever we could go ice skating, he would just skate backwards and pull me around the whole time. So it was really fun. It was just like I got to go for a ride. <laughs> so that's always fun. But yeah, I think that's my favorite. I also love Christmas light shows. One of you guys actually commented about a Christmas light show that's not too far for me that you like drive through. So I need to remember to tell Max about that because that would be so fun. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you in my next video.